tell you because of all my hair. <laughs> um, When I applied for this job, I was very lucky because Keith Montgomery, who was the previous choir director, he sent me a lot of emails in Bangkok. And I asked him, what's my choir going to be like when I get here? And he said, I have no idea because there were 33 students graduating from last year's high school choir. Well, this year there are 41. And that's a huge amount. So if you ask me what my choir is like next year, I've got the class list and it looks fantastic, but we're losing 41 students who've really given a lot of time and effort to CAC. So I'm going to introduce you to them and it'll take about 15 minutes because I'm a very fast talker. And I think I need to stand this up a bit more. This is Omar Abaza and he's been in choir for two years but he's sang in the middle school musical and he's going to Los Angeles to Fullerton and he's going to be a business administrator. So thank you Omar for your time. This is Salina, and she normally has a beautiful smile on her face. Yes, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and this is her first year in choir. She's a senior, and she's going to AIC in Boston, or to AUC, and she's going to be a physical therapist. So thank you, Salina. <laughs> this is Reem, and it's her first year in choir, too. Um, Reem says that she's going to make a terrible mother, but I do not believe that for one instance. She's actually going off to SOAS, Uni of London, to do political science. And thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, he's got very large muscles. He carries a lot of things in the music department. <laughs> Anytime I need anything carried, I ask Simon for his help. He's going to AUC and here in Cairo, and he's doing business, and it's his first year in choir, so thank you. Uh, this is Jenny. She's going to Canada. You might have seen her artwork. She's been uh, presenting work for the Ivy Arts Show. Uh, when she goes to Canada, she's going to be studying politics and French, and it's her first year in choir, too. So thank you. She's my um, social butterfly. Um, every time I go to the movies, which is not very frequently, I always see Shelby get. Uh, she's going to North Dakota, and she spent three years in choir, giving a lot of time to the choir, so thank you. Very much. <laughs> this is Julie. She's um, going to Texas at a place called Glen, and she's picked a perfect profession for herself. She's actually a fourth as well as a singer, so a second year in choir, and she's going to be a nurse. <laughs> This is Robin, um, the first student I actually met at CAC. The very first week when I was voice testing, she said to me, I hate tests, and I've made her do a lot of them this year. Um, Robin's going to do elementary education, it's her second year in choir, and she's going to Florida to leave the university, so thank you, Robin. Um, this is Hagel. He's going back to Seoul, Korea. He's going to be an aeronautical engineer. It's his first year in choir, he's a great pianist. Um, I don't know why he's not flying the planes, because I don't know anybody who's as cool under pressure as Hagel, so good luck to them. <laughs> this is Kate Corris. She's going back to Dublin, to Ireland, to do teacher training. She's the most dedicated choir student. She's been in choir two years. Um, she always comes and sees us if she wants any help. She's like 100% focused in class, so we're going to miss her a lot, so thank you, Kate. <laughs> This is Nikki Deckel. Um, she's been uh, in our choir for two years and she loved Mr. Montgomery and she missed him a lot and she gave me a really good fair chance when I got here, so I thank her for that. She's going to Utica College of Syracuse in New York and she's going to be doing public relations, which is perfect for her. <laughs> and this is Inji. This is not so bad. I'm doing some talking. To the <laughs> she's going to the American University of Paris and she's going to be doing a business. It's her first year in choir and she's a joy to work with. So thank you, Inji. <laughs> this is Tunde. Um, I never got to see Tunde run. Every time I was just talking to him, he'd say, Tunde's running, I get over there, he just finished the finish line, not what it's supposed to be in run. But everyone told me he was a, a very great runner. Um, he's going to... Um, Indiana to Notre Dame, and he's going to be a chemical engineer. It's his first year in choir, and I'm sure he'll be an excellent. <laughs> um, Kristen is amazing. She's been in choir four years. She's going to Rollins College in Florida. Um, you couldn't get, I don't think there was one instance in a whole year of teaching where she didn't give me 150, 200% every class. So I thank her for that, and I thank her for her four years in choir. So thank you for <laughs> Yeah, 
Egypt for me. And when I, uh, <laughs> when I was in Egypt, I was standing outside the lunch room one day and I had no money and I was kind of looking a bit perplexed because I was starving. And I was standing there and I said, what's the matter? No money, I can't have my lunch. And Aziz looked at me and he said, well, you know, you have no money, you can't have my lunch. Aziz lent me the money and the entire year I've tried to pay him back the 11 pounds. There's no way he's going to take it. So, uh, Aziz um, says every day, I love you, Mr. Louise. And I say it's not requited, but he doesn't know what the word means. So he saying uh, every day I say it's not requited. Um, he's going to Wheaton North, Massachusetts, and he'll argue medicinal law. But, you know, I don't know. I don't think either of those things are right for you yet. I haven't quite liked that. And it's his first year in choir, and he did a great job. So thank you. She's going to either AU Paris or ABC. She's studying mass communications. She's a very sweet child. She's slightly sleepy in the mornings. <laughs> That's my favorite ever. So thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> this breaks my heart. Tarek's been singing forever. He's had three years in choir. And if you saw the talent show, he's just phenomenal. Unfortunately, he's going to be doing business administration at Cairo AUC. But if I had money, I'd put him through music school because he's phenomenally gifted. So I thank you, Tarek. It was great to be here. <laughs> this is Shaharazad, and she is so lucky. She's either going to Milano or to Switzerland, and she's doing uh, marketing. It's her first year in choir. Um, she speaks Italian. Yeah. So that's kind of handy in choir. So thank you, Shaharazad. Thank you. Thank you. She's going to ASBC, she hasn't decided what she's going to do. It's her first year in choir. Like many of my students who, who had the first year of choir with me, she's just been wonderful. She smiles all choir class. Thank you. Um, this is a rare sight. This is Mohammed without his sunglasses. Okay? It doesn't happen very often. Every day I kind of find his sunglasses. About half an hour later he comes back and gets them. Um, he's going to Switzerland, which would be great. He's going to Franklin University. He's doing business. He had two years in choir and a British show, so thank you, Mohamed. <laughs> this is Bridget, who is an absolute sweetheart. Um, you might have seen her in band. She plays flute. She's a great musician. She just finished a senior project for Triam, where she did some cross-stitch that was marvellous. Um, she's going to Eastern Michigan. She's going to be doing early education. Any school that gets her will be very lucky, so thank you, Bridget. <laughs> Well, that's what we get We get that 24 hours a day. I've never seen my heart where he wasn't smiling. I really wanted to see him play water polo because he was the captain of the water polo team. And I couldn't work out how he could do it and keep smiling, but I'm sure he did. So thank you very much. And it's his third year in choir, a long time in choir, so thank you so much. Shireen um, was lucky. Uh, we were very lucky. We took Shireen to EMAC. We went... Um, to Dubai. She was fantastic. When we got off the bus, we were so tired when we got to the airport in Cairo and we had a big mix up with the police and the bus driver and Shireen just kind of handled the whole thing. So she's very, very competent. Um, she's going to be studying history at, at uh, AUC here in Cairo and it's her second year in choir. So thank you. <laughs> this is Marion. You've probably seen her in many, many productions here at CAC. She's a, got a great gift for drama. She's actually going to be studying theatre arts and English literature. She spent four years in choir, which is a long time. She's going to Anglia University in Cambridge, England, and I'm sure we'll see her name somewhere in the world. So thank you, Mary. She's a beautiful girl. She's the only student we have going on to study music. She's going to Indiana University. She played violin at the last concert. To hear her play is an absolute dream, so I hope that we get to hear her again after she's finished her studies. She spent four years in choir, and she was on a choir uh, candidate this year, and a great musician, so thank you, Bo Young. <laughs> this is uh, the backbone of one of my tenor sections. It's Young Sick. It's his first year here in choir. He's going to the University of Illinois to do business and finance. Um, he's a good pianist. He doesn't let anyone know it. He's a good pianist and a great singer. So, thank you. <laughs> so, Pascal's going to say the name, aren't you, Pascal? We practice this day. Uh, Kenny Kurotu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Kenny is a, a, 
phenomenal athlete. He's going to study physical education. He's going to Santa Barbara. He's been in choir for four years. And the last few weeks, he's been coming along to help the boys choir. You couldn't get a nicer girl, I hope you're paying attention, a nicer boy than Kenny. So thank you, Kenny. <laughs> I've been really lucky. I've had Sue Yun and Sarah Celine who have guided me through the whole year. Every time I'm like, what's this? What do I have to do next? They just tell me. Um, Sue Yun is very quiet and she's very determined. Um, she's actually going to go ahead and study computer science at Cornell and it's her third year in choir. You would have seen her in Brigadoon in the lead role. Um, she's just a great student, like all of our students, but I really wish you luck and I thank you so much. And so <laughs> She's also going to be studying uh, physical education. She's had two years in choir. She's going to Central Michigan University. Um, Elizabeth, it, like many of our choir students, just walks in the door, does 80 minutes solid walk, uh, work, walks out the door. Absolutely no fuss, 100% dedication, and I know she'll carry that on in her career, so thank you. <laughs> Dave. Um, he's got more talent than his little finger than I've probably got my whole body. Um, he's got a gorgeous voice. He's studied aeronautical science. He's uh, been in quite two years and he's going to, you have to say, one first year. Whoops, I made a mistake. Unusual. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great word. This is a little. 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 <laughs> he's going to Lithuania in Texas. And we wish him the uh, best of luck. Thanks, Dave. Annie won our way, uh, her way into our hearts because Annie supplied the tea for the music department. Not just ordinary rubbishy tea like I had in my house, but deluxe tea bags for the whole year. So Annie's a very generous spirit. She's going to be studying government at the University of Virginia, and she's been in choir for three years, which is a long time. So thank you for all your work. Ben is going off to uh, Wisconsin. He's having a gap year. Um, you've probably seen Ben doing a million things around campus. It's his first year in choir. He's sang in chamber singers. My biggest problem with Ben is he makes me laugh. I can't even get it started. If, I, if he starts talking, I find him completely hysterical, so I have to kind of pretend he's not there, because otherwise nothing gets done. So thank you, Ben. <laughs> two years in choir. She's going off to California to Vanguard. She hasn't picked her major yet. She's been a fantastic help in choir. Every time I'm conducting, she never takes her eyes off me. She's the most wonderful student, and I thank her for all that work. So thank you, Rachel. Thank you. Um, this is good nature personified, except when he has a HL chemistry exam tomorrow, which is my thoughts on his brain. Um, Austin uh, sang in chamber singers last year. He's going to be a chemical engineer and we wish him the best of luck with his success tomorrow. He's going to Colorado University and he's been a fantastic asset to the base section and we're really going to miss you. So thank you. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This boy has the stupidest nickname. He's called Headless. And, uh, I mean, he's really clever. He's a polyglot. He can speak many languages. I mean, there's nothing headless about Mohammed Sabri. Um, he's going to do banking. Banking, I can't believe it, never mind. But he's going to Beirut, and it's his first year in choir, and he basically smiles all the time like Fahad, all choir class, so thank you for your humour. This is Sarah Salim. Um, when I said, what are you doing next year? She said, I'm seeing the world. But in actual fact, she's having a gap year before she goes on to Harvard. She's worked incredibly hard. She's been so helpful. I've never, ever seen her in a bad mood. She's always chirpy. She spent four years in choir. Um, she's made honor choir countless times. And she's a great singer. So I hope you keep singing. Thank you. <laughs> this is Nada. She's some... Uh, for two years in choir, she's going to Cairo AUC, and um, she hasn't decided her major yet. Um, she's a darling. She's <laughs> she uh, keeps the boys in line for me, which is terrific. She sits next to some boys and uh, tells them off in Arabic. I have no idea what she's saying. <laughs> so thank you for that. <laughs> Um, Danny, uh, 
probably has caused more white hairs this year than anybody. He is a great musician. He's a fabulous arguer. You don't ever want to start an argument because you don't have any chance of beating him at this. So you just say, yes, Daddy. And I thank him. He's really got the voice quiet. He's kept his cheerful uh, disposition even when I'm in a filthy bad mood. So I thank him for that. So thank you, Daddy. <laughs>